Roberto Hernandez. And Gerardo was in the hole not so long ago. And it was the work of people like yourselves to give a solidarity campaign, 15 general secretaries, many, many MPs from this country, but across the globe, who demanded that he was out of solitary. And he was taken out of solitary after 13 days, where he'd been kept for no apparent, apparent reason except for extra punishment. This is a message to you all. Dear friends attending the vigil for the five in London, once again, you are reunited outside the US Embassy to show solidarity with the five, imprisoned in the United States for defending our country against terrorism. Once again, the functionaries of that embassy will ignore your claim or will say that the five are imprisoned for the very serious crime of having committed espionage. Once again, we can tell anybody, plain and simple, that is a lie. I'm not going to read everything because it's a long message. We've got it on the website and you can read it all there. But it goes on at the end. A few weeks ago, I was taken to a punishment cell for no reason. Something that could happen to any of the five at any time. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our friends in Britain for your many efforts to secure my return to the general population. I'm sure that if it weren't for your support, I would still be in the hole. Many thanks to you all. There will be a, sorry, it goes on, there will be a day when these vigils for the five won't be necessary. There will be a day when you will have a gathering like this one and no message from the five will be read. There will be a day when the five will be here with you to personally express our deep appreciation to our British friends for your continual and outstanding solidarity. The solidarity that we are certain will make such a day possible. Thank you. Gerardo Hernandez. Thank you. So many messages.